Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be making peppermint bark. If you've been watching my channel for a while, you've seen me make this soap before, but you know, it's a seasonal soap. I only make it this time of the year. Okay, so I got really red mica. I'll be using cocoa for the chocolate part. Uh, peppermint from Nature's Garden for the peppermint part. Chocolate brownie from Aztec for the chocolate part. I have my cold processed little chocolate inlets that I will put in. And I think that that's it. All right. So in here I've got my clays, my oatmeal, um, my heavy cream, and my oils. And I will be adding my lye solution after I buzz this up. Okay, now I'm gonna have my light solution. We're soaping at room temperature, about 75 degrees Fahrenheit. Obviously, Fahrenheit, or we'd all be dead. Not really. Yes, I don't know. It sets pretty hot. <laughs> Okay, guys, let's make some. It's my favorite part of soaping. Obviously, it's wins too, that's why he's always plopping his soap. But... <laughs> Because it's at this point when you're about to turn something liquid into a solid, and this is how you do it. And I just think it's beautiful. I guess ice does the same thing, but you know, you don't, I don't know, whatever. Okay, I'm gonna pour almost half of this out for the chocolate. And the rest is going to be the red and the white. Just a little bit of red. Oh wait, I'm gonna put my peppermint fragrance oil in here, which I don't know why I did that because I want to do the chocolate first <laughs> because I want it to be setting up. Okay, I'm gonna throw some cho cocoa powder in there and then buzz it up. This very oil does discolor the cocoa powder; just helps it discolor evenly. Plus, it's cocoa. It does take a little bit of mixing to get cocoa to mix in, so you don't have specks. This fragrance cell does accelerate, although it's not looking like it is right now, but it actually does. Let's do that because I have to do white next, so. All right, I'm gonna pour a majority of this in here. And then save some for kind of the top. Just to cover up the red and white. So I'm gonna set this to the side without making a huge mess, which you guys all know is not possible for me, so. Here we're gonna have our titanium dioxide. Oh, not yet. <laughs> I gotta mix this up and then put my titanium. <laughs> Just mixing in the fragrance. Sorry about that, guys. I'm losing my mind. Just a little bit of red. Okay. Maybe a little tiny bit more. Okay, that's it. And the rest is going to be white. Oh, it smells so good in here. Smell good? Can you smell it? My son, no. my son's in here. <laughs> 
I'm not talking to ghosts, I swear. Not on camera. <laughs> <laughs> they get shy around the camera. <laughs> actually, ghosts actually speak up louder right here. On camera. Anyway. That's not for a soaping channel. I'm just going to take this and do it in the pot swirl. After I clean up all this disaster I have made. God, I am the messy soaper. Oof. I really am. Okay. So for this, I'm just going to pour from high. And I do want to get it all in there. Peppermint does not accelerate. So this is also for my piping, so we'll be waiting to pipe it for a while. Okay. And now, I told you it does accelerate. It's solid. Hang on. Though. I want to clean up these edges because when I moved it, I made kind of a mess. That one looks okay. All right, not too bad. Okay. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill this most of the way. Just using the spatula to break the fall. very close so it doesn't break through the chocolate and then I'm going to put chocolate on the top okay yes yeah, it's solid <laughs> it loosens up should have waited to put this chocolate on but you know patience and all that I have none that's why I don't get straight lines <laughs> but I actually wasn't trying to get straight lines here I was just you know I just want it to look like peppermint bark Let me try to see if I can spread this chocolate out without... Oh no, I can't. Okay. Let me try bouncing it here. No, guys. No go. We'll see what that looks like when we cut it open. Okay. Oh, I'm dragging the paper towel right through the soap. Clean up the edges some. Okay. Now we have to pipe and we're not ready. So I will bring you guys back when it's time to pipe. Thank you so much for watching. Hey guys, welcome back, and we are going to pipe our peppermint bark. Hopefully, hopefully it's thick enough. 
It felt much thicker before I got in the bag. The heat from your hands does that sometimes. Ooh. I don't know why I'm trying to do this one handed. <laughs> I love this tip. One of my dogs is calling at the door. I'm sure that's what you guys can hear. It's not, she's not outside. She's in my daughter's room. She wants out. And apparently I'm the only one with ears, I guess, that can hear her. <laughs> Losing her mind in there trying to get out. I'll let her out as soon as I'm piping here. Oh, I'm sorry. I know I get so quiet when I'm piping, and I don't know why. I swear this just got softer on this last round than the whole time. Oh my gosh, see? It's the heat from my hands doing it. Okay. But we'll stick some chocolate in there. Okay, I don't want my chocolate to have shimmer mica on it, so this is a uh, snowflake sparkle mica. I don't want it on my chocolate pieces. Okay. So now I'm going to put in my chocolate. Okay, let's see here. Let's try to do this right. Ooh, that one's broken. Not that it matters, it goes in the soap, right? Huh? Matters to me. I only make these chocolate pieces once a year and they last me a whole year. Like, um, make a whole bunch at once. Oops. Okay guys, now I give you a close up. Okay, and I will bring you back for the cut. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoy what you're seeing, please hit the like. And if you're not subscribed, please hit the subscribe and that little bell next to it will notify you of all of my videos as I upload them. And I do try to upload every day. Soaps two or three times a week. Most of the time it's bath bombs, candles, um, lotions, whipped soaps, everything. I make everything. So make sure to hit that bell. And I would really, really enjoy a comment below. So thank you so much. Have a great day. Hi, welcome back to our channel. Today we're going to be cutting peppermint bark. So let's get started. Oh, Paul already she wants to cut through a chocolate piece. Not happening. <laughs> so that's an end piece, a little banged up. I was wanting more chocolate up here. I should have saved more. So putting it on the bottom, but it's okay. It smells delicious. It smells edible. It really, really does. Okay. No cutting chocolate. Oh, I like that piece much better. Yeah? You like it, honey? Oh! It smells good. I'm sorry. 
You guys, I'm very tempted to keep the whole loaf. <laughs> okay? For me. Not for you. I don't even think we kept one from last year. I mean, I don't think we ever even used one of them. Wow, this smells so good. Wow. Seriously, though. Yummy. Yum, yum. I'm very happy with it. Look at that candy bar. Look at that candy bar. <laughs> <laughs> No, I do like the smell. I do too. It smells really good. Yummy! I have a feeling that this one's going to want to cut that chocolate, so let's flip her around. Oh, come on. <laughs> no cutting chocolate! Okay. That's fine. Oh, you're very good at, at using this. Alright. If you guys are interested in purchasing any of our Bath & Body products, the links are in the description box below. And if you'd like to follow us on Instagram, I update there quite a bit. I used to update more. During the summer, you get more updates from me on there. It's hard to keep up right now. It's a big piece. But I still, what's the same? But I still do update there every day. Or try to. I think I've missed a day or two. Ah. Seriously, though, that looks good enough to eat. All the links in the description box below. It really is heavenly. I don't know if you guys can see how there's darker edges around that. This is going to turn this color. So. I was going to say, we didn't try to plan on that to happen. It just, it's just the way the soap cures. It's the way vanillin works. What she said. It's when the air oxidizes it. So. I need to it looks like a strawberry sherbet look. but That's what I was actually going for this swirl in the middle. I wanted more brown on the top, but it's okay. Next year, maybe. It looks fantastic. Thank you, honey. I like the, the, I don't know if you guys can see it in the film, but there's a lot of, what do you call that? Shimmer, shimmer glitter? Look at the shimmer. Look <laughs> at the chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed, please subscribe to the channel. Hit that little bell so you'll be notified of yeah, all of our that videos. One. That bell. Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> I'm kidding. It, it doesn't. And leave me a comment below. We love to read the comments, and we do read them all. And that's an end piece. But it's a beautiful piece. It's beautiful. And it's full of shimmer. <laughs> see you guys. All right. We'll see you guys later. Thank you so much for watching, and have a great day.